All right, fellow travelers, welcome back to the Adventures of a Traveling Don. My name is Benjamin O, and today we are continuing the Austin, Texas food tour series with a single spotlight today, something that I was not able to get into a barbecue video that I did last year, which I do highly recommend to check out. That was kind of like the ultimate barbecue experience of Austin. However, this particular time, I am taking this particular video just to do a spotlight here on Style Switch Barbecue here in North Austin. <music> Okay, so Style Switch Barbecue started several years ago, and this is the original building here in North Austin. They actually do have a second Style Switch up in Cedar Park, uh, up in Williamson County. However, this is the original spot. They've been around for several years. They're actually one of the younger ones when it comes to the Texas barbecue game here in Austin. However, they are doing an absolutely fantastic job. I've been here many, many times over the years, and I finally was like, I have got to actually finally put this in a video. So we are dedicating this entire video to all the great stuff that they have here at Style Switch. So the several things that we got going on, we'll go through individually, but I just wanted to show you what we have. Like you have the three meat plates, so you can do like one, two, three meat plates. And there are certain items that you can't specifically get with those plates because they're separate. Things like the smoked chicken and of course the beef rib. However, on the three plate, we got of course the sausage, brisket, and of course pork ribs with a couple of different sides. And that was about $25.95 for that. What was actually a little bit more expensive was this beautiful beef rib. I mean, just look at how massive that is. And this a lot of times will be, you know, they only make a certain amount. So kind of try and get here a little bit earlier instead of trying to be here for dinner. Sometimes the beef ribs might run out, but let's go ahead and get to trying all these individually. All right, so first things first, we're gonna dive into the big boy, the bad boy of Texas barbecue. Most people think brisket. Honestly, the beef ribs is what you're really talking about because they are dinosaur style ribs and these are absolutely, absolutely amazing. Just, you can smell it, just look at all oh, the juices, the meats, it's just absolutely amazing. And of course we got the end part, so particularly on the back end, you have a little bit kind of like almost like a burnt end style. So we're gonna dig in real quick. Oh, you see on the back end, like I said, that is all, all fat right there. So if that's what you're looking for, you like the burnt ends, that's where you go. Now we'll dig in also into the meat part real quick. Mm. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> mm. That was a mess, my Lord. You saw how it just kind of like pulled off together. My, my, I need a napkin, mom, I need a napkin. Oh my goodness, that was just messy, but like it's so tender and it just pulls off very, very easily. I'm gonna mess with myself, but it is that damn good. All right, so the second one, of course, we're gonna go into the brisket now. Now their brisket is something that's absolutely phenomenal. Smoked, uh, you know, overnight for I think t at least 24, if not more, like 36 hours. And it's just the meat that you get off that, it just pulls apart so deliciously. And it's like, it just looks amazing when it pulls apart. And as you can see, it's just, that's just floppy. You know, this is, this is what you're looking for here, brisket. Oh, like butter just melts and gone. Mm. Fan, fantastic brisket. All right, so the third one, the next one is of course going to be their uh, smoked pork ribs. Now these, I believe, have their own specific dry rib seasoning on it. And I've had these in the past and it, they can actually, you gotta watch it. There is a little bit of a kick on that seasoning. So I'm go ahead and try these real quick. Mm. Now there's a slight sweetness and then on the back end, it has this kind of spice kick. I don't know if it's cayenne or whatnot that hits you, but it does. It is very, very pepper flavored. And so, yeah, watch yourself with this one. But it's just, it's absolutely delicious, as you can see. Oh, amazing pork ribs. All right, so the fourth thing on the menu, of course, is going to be their own smoked house sausage. And it's just typical, simple, easy, but let's give it a try. Mmm, just a light snap to it because of the casing. 
but actual sausage inside is amazing moist tender just like everything else here it's just moist and tender those are the two words you really gotta take away from this place when it comes to style switch moist and tender just amazing now one thing particularly when it comes to texas barbecue usually everything is rub and that's how everything is done however everybody does cr still create their own barbecue sauce you just put it on the side if you so wish to dip it so we're going to give a try to their house barbecue sauce i don't think i've ever actually tried their barbecue sauce before i'm just basically eating because you don't really need it but we'll try it see how that enhances you can see looks really good Oh, you know what? It's actually very nice. It's only a mild sweetness. There's not, uh, it's, it's more of an enhancement is what it should be instead of overtaking and overpowering the meat. That's actually not bad at all. That's actually really, really good barbecue sauce. Well done, sw uh, Style Switch. All right, so now you've seen that four of their major meats. Now we're gonna get into uh, three different sides that we got with our meal. And this, of course, is the corn casserole. This is my brother Ryan's favorite, so I'll go ahead and give this a try. Oh, that's really good. Almost kind of got a, a really nice, like, cornbread, um, cornbread texture to it. And it's just, that is absolutely, absolutely amazing. A little sweetness to it because of the corn, but Man, that's, that corn casserole is fantastic. Now, of course, the second side and the most important side of any Texas barbecue joint is the mac and cheese. And you gotta always get that mac and cheese. Just, it's gotta be yellow, gooey. As you can see, it's just fall off. Mm. Perfection. Perfection. I mean, when it comes to mac and cheese, I am a mac and cheese connoisseur. And there are other mac and cheeses, you know, baked mac and cheese that I make at home uh, or that I've had at a few different restaurants. Those, that, that's kind of my favorite. But when you're doing Texas barbecue, you just got to have these small little, little elbow bosses. Nothing better. And for many of you barbecue lovers, uh, probably one of the uh, saddest parts of the video, <laughs> given what it is. But you do need a little bit of freshness. Uh, you definitely want to go ahead and get like their tomato cucumber salad. Uh, I think it's actually like it's soaked in like some sort of like tomato uh, pickled juice. They even have some uh, some onions in there. So give us a try. Oh yeah, sweetness of the tomato. You know, get a little get a little cucumber in there. Just brightens up the day. Helps kind of the acidity of all that too. Helps with all the meat because if you're eating all this meat and carbs and whatnot with the mac and cheese corn casserole you do need a little acidity to help fight that back but yeah like i said all in all this place is absolutely fantastic I'm stuffed. I'm gonna be having meat sweats later when I uh, when I go walk this off. It's, uh, oh, that was absolutely delicious. I love Style Switch. It's it's fantastic. Uh, I wish I had gotten it into the video last year, but you know what? I kind of actually enjoy the fact that it gets its own own little spotlight for this particular food tour series. So. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If, uh, if you love barbecue, Texas barbecue, particularly if you've been to Austin, let me know what your favorite places are here. And if you, wherever you're from, whatever barbecue you like, just let me know in the comments as well. I'd love to know what's your style. You know, I'm, Tex I'm, I'm a Texas guy when it comes to barbecue. I like the rub. Do you like sauce? Do you like it covered in sauce? Let me know. In the meantime, guys, uh, definitely, if you liked the video, give it a big old thumbs up. And, of course, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. And uh, until the next time we meet, peace out and have a great night, fellow Travel Dots. <laughs>